Hello guys! Tell them about your belt. Belt's no longer needed. <laughs> If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you take me on the regular What is that in Ferocious? I don't know Who's recommending it? Another girl like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady so many good cooking hacks from TikTok, like how to cook the top of an egg perfectly. Hello guys! I look a little bit crazy, I'm just getting ready for the day. Um, haven't talked here on forever, what it feels like. We've just been living our best overseas life. I think the last video you would have seen, maybe, is the um, England and Ireland vlog. And we are in the States now, we're in New York City, we're staying at the Warwick Hotel and it, guys, it's literally giving me like 1950s New York vibe. I'll like put in like a clip of what, what the front of the hotel looks like. So this is our, I'm just doing my, my eyebrows, but this is our um, third day now in New York. Anyway, this is our third day in New York. So yesterday we went to um, Color World, I'll put, oh god. I can't do two things at once. I'll put in some footage from Color World. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else can do. It's actually so fun. There was like a whole ball pit. Every room had like a different theme. Um... Everyone on Instagram was saying how dirty ball pits are, and they probably were, but I was just embracing it, you know what I mean? Um, what else did we do? We went to M&M World, we had a McGriddle, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen my like around the world TikToks, um, trying all the different McDonald's, you need to. I find it so interesting, like the difference of like the fast food in Australia compared to over here. Last night we had KFC and they sell like biscuits, which are literally like Australian scones. Um, but it was so good. But it was just so weird having it like savory. I felt like it needed some butter and jam. Don't you reckon, Tim? Don't you reckon it was like the weirdest thing ever? It was very strange. But so good. Tell about the stupid chicken noodle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Tim was like, cause we were, weren't that hungry. And so we shared a meal, but you could get an extra burger for like $3. And I was like, oh, that's such a good deal. And it was called a chicken little burger. It looked like a normal sized burger. It had chicken in it. So I was like, it must just be like a chicken burger. Um, ordered it and it was like this big. It was like a little dinner roll sized burger. And we were so, well, I wasn't disappointed because it was Tim's, but he was so disappointed. <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. Um, I'll put the footage in for that or you can go check out the video. It probably would be on TikTok by now um, But oh my gosh Anyway, I'm absolutely loving New York. It is amazing. We're going to a baseball game today um, Who's playing the Yankees the Yankee Stadium, so we're going to the Yankee Stadium We're gonna go down and buy tickets hopefully at this like little shop because I'm too scared to buy them online that we're gonna get the wrong thing and I also want to get like maybe some merchandise maybe like a Yankee Stadium cap if you know what I mean, because I feel like that will be a vibe and we're probably going to have shit food again and get like a hot dog because if you go to a baseball game in America and you don't get a hot dog, did you really go to an American baseball game? I might even attempt to try the Bud Light beer, even though I'm, I don't drink beer, I'm not a beer fan at all, but I'm just trying to get amongst the culture, you know what I mean? 
Um, but yeah, I'll take you guys along for the journey. I'm just getting ready for the day now. I literally just went and bought an adapter and it says on the adapter, Australian adapter, but it doesn't even fit my cord, so I'm pissed. And the guy was being so nice as well, but what can you do? Anywho, um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. Bye. so story time real quick whilst i'm marinating in a tan got my nails done in new york they look a bit mental but anyway this is what happened first place i went to i was like oh i just want to get a refill and the lady's like oh i'm just waiting on the nail tech the bus is running late or the train sorry um and then in the meantime she'll get the color off i had fake nails on and she was taking the color off the nails with nail polish remover and a nail file and I was like oh normally like in Australia they use like a drill to get it off because they're fake nails and she's like oh yeah we'll wait for the nail tech to get here and I was like okay and then she kept going and I made an excuse to leave because the other nail tech it was like 15 minutes she never came this is what my nails look like at this point so then I went to the next place and the next place didn't understand what a refill was because in the states with gel polish they just give you like a whole new fake nail unless you get like an SNS powder, then it's the tip. So she thought I, I meant that I wanted like a whole new set. And then she went to take my nails off with a Metro card, a Metro card, the card you use to get on a subway. And it wasn't like a brand new Metro card. It was like an old crusty metro card and i was like no 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 do not i'm like i want to keep my nails i just want to infill and i was like trying to explain it to her i was like maybe like the australian accent she can't understand what i'm saying anyway and then she ended up doing an sns powder over the nails and this is what they look like a little bit chunky but didn't get them taken off with the metro card so i'm not mad good morning guys um so it is our last day here in new york which is so sad well it's not our last day tomorrow's our last day technically but we fly out at like one o'clock so it's our last full day and it says it's a hundred percent chance of rain <laughs> tim's been up so it's like seven ish now tim's been outside jimmy fallon at the rockefeller center since seven no since six o'clock ish six thirty ish um, waiting to see if we can get tickets for the Tonight Show because we heard that's how you get them from like the guy that was there who like told us to wait outside on a Monday for a ticket for the Tonight Show tonight. Um, so he kindly offered to do that whilst I got ready um, for taking some photos today because I've got to do a couple of work photos for a brand so it takes me like a bit of time to get ready because I've got to like do my hair and my makeup and he's a boy and can just chuck clothes on and like bloody head out the door which I could also do but I do want to put some makeup on and put some effort into these photos um yeah I'm gonna go and get him a coffee and maybe like something to eat whilst he's waiting in the line and then he's gonna be waiting in the line till 9am 
and by that time I'll be ready for the photos and yeah but yeah I'm gonna go buy him a coffee and some food and bring it to him in the line for Jimmy Fallon Tim had a guy moment and upgraded our rental car to a Mustang, which is actually so stupid because we have so much luggage. Literally only one bag fits in the boot. I'm not sure if you can hear me. It's our hotel. Oh. oh God. We love a robe situation, but it looks like there's only one robe. <laughs> Bedroom. Is there only one robe? Uh, it looks like it. Maybe there's the other ones like folded up. So we have a vinyl collection where they literally have a million different vinyls downstairs. That is all our luggage. Whoops. TV, living area. There's even like a little kitchen, which is so good because we've been eating out every single meal. And then a little balcony. Best thing about this hotel is that there is a one hour complimentary wine bar at the rooftop pool, which we are about to go to. Thank God for that because I am stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed. I'm stressed from traveling. That sounds so stupid, but if you've traveled like and been on airplanes, it's a very stressful time. And also because we just had to drive on the other side of the road. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to stop complaining because there's absolutely nothing to complain about. And I'm going to go have a wine on the rooftop pool, I think. Kind of need to have a shower. I'm disgusting right now. This is a huge tennis court to be just randomly in the hotel. So nice. Woo! Random seating area. Now we're going to go to wine o'clock. Wine o'clock. Wine o'clock. Let's go. <laughs>
it's so hot. I'm filming it, it's very hot. <laughs> we haven't done like proper exercise in a long time. And this is a hike. And I'm fine, I'm fine. I've stolen Tim's hat. <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. It's our last day on a holiday in LA, <laughs> kind of last day on holiday. We're about to spend 15 hours in a plane at 9 Ooh. p.m. It's currently 8 a.m. So we've still got a little bit. We're currently waiting for Trader Joe's to open so we can go get some bagel seasoning or everything but the bagel seasoning. We're gonna try and get a box and then chuck like a bunch of American food in it so we can bring it back home. Fill it up because we haven't eaten enough. Oh, we've eaten enough. I feel like sickly full and it's 8 a.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet today, but I just think that last night was a lot. Oh my God. Oh my God. The cheesecake was so good though, but I can't keep eating like this. The bottom of the seat belt, I couldn't see on the way home. It was gone. That hasn't happened in so long. <laughs> Tell them about your belt. My belt? Yeah, the seat belt. No, the belt, your belt belt, pants oh, belt. Oh, belt's no longer needed <laughs> for these pants. Anyway. Which is not like, I do not recommend going on holiday and like smashing a bunch of food and like purposely doing that. We've just wanted to try a lot of things to be honest. And it's all foods that I'm not used to and they're quite like heavy and rich foods. And neither of us eat like quite a heavy or rich diet. In and Out Burger was definitely the best. Oh, that was like a, an elite experience. Experience. And it was so affordable as well. So reasonable. Oh my God, do you have so your hat? Reasonable. Um, but yeah, so we go to Starbucks and we're oh, waiting for Starbucks to open. I Trader, got Trader Joe's is open. Oh, it's open. Well, let's let you know my order quickly first. Grande iced Americano with one pump of sugar free vanilla. It says vanilla on here. This better be sugar free. And then um, <laughs> some oat milk. Anyway, let's do this. Happy we'll. Day. See you guys later. I'm sure I'll show you one last montage of LA right now. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love.